Hi, uh, everyone. Uh, this is uh, ME6750. Uh, some electric material. Uh, this is the first flight today. And uh, unless you want to talk, uh, I suggest you turn off microphone so that I cannot hear the noise, okay? But uh, when you want to talk, you have to turn on and talk. Uh, anytime you can raise a question, it's okay. Uh, since this is the first, I'd like to show you uh, a few seconds my video. Uh, but I, I, it takes a long time for uh, recording, so... Uh, yes. So, do you see my face? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is uh, synchronous online, so uh, sometimes I talk to wall, not the students. Uh, that's that's not the good. Uh, anyhow, um, I'm gonna turn off the video so that I can save the uh, image. Um, Okay. Uh, making record uh, not for you. Okay, don't expect uh, you have a video record lecture. No. Uh, this is uh, for another purpose. Okay. Um, the reason is uh, I like students attend the class on time. Okay. Don't miss the class. This is a synchronous. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is a synchronous uh, online. So you can take note uh, like uh, in-person class. And uh, anything homework assignment, I will do it. So um, don't ask me a video tape, okay, and, uh, uh, okay, let me first uh, go over uh, syllabus, okay, syllabus, <clears throat> I have posted the syllabus in e-learning, content of e-learning, so you can anytime enter and uh, make a print. Uh, this is the first time I'd like to show you how to enter the e-learning, okay? So once you go to e-learning, then you have to select the course. So there are a number of courses maybe, then you have to select the correct number uh, ME 6750 950 some electric material not not enough you have to read the number 15367 and then uh, 2023 uh, something the rest is just uh, you know but you have to check uh, 15367 this is a uh, correct once you select and you appear this appearance does not uh, guarantee it, it, it can be uh, some previous semester maybe you cannot open the previous semester but uh, make sure you have a correct number and then um, there is a assignment uh, usually you need to go to a Dropbox Okay, I, I have not assigned it yet, but you will see homework number one, homework number two, quiz, midterm, final, something like that. You can see that. And uh, you can 
download your work. You have to download. I will show you how to download. But uh, anyhow, you have to use uh, Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox for your work download and also content I have posted the syllabus look at that you can see that I think that this is an instructor version you can go to uh, uh, students version yeah this is now is a student version Dropbox yeah there's nothing content Yes, there is a, uh, as long as uh, I put uh, some content, you can see um, syllabus or if I need a handout or, or uh, homework solutions, whatever. Okay, so you have to look at, uh, for example, a syllabus, you can click, you will see the same, the syllabus. Okay, or we are. I'm using the uh, uh, PDF uh, annotator. This is a software. Um, I can write, I can show PDF, something like that. <clears throat> okay, um, there is information uh, about uh, instructor email. Um, uh, you can use it, but uh, I like you minimize the uh, usings. Uh, I have so many students, but still, anyhow, you can use it. And uh, lecture hour, yeah, Wednesday, yeah, right now, 7 to 9.30, synchronous online. Uh, we have office hours. Uh, yeah, uh, Wednesday, same day, 6 to 7, if you have. But this is uh, online with appointment. So in order to have uh, office hours, you have to have appointment. Otherwise, you can uh, raise questions during the lecture or after lecture. Okay, that is the best time we can communicate. And uh, the textbook uh, is the thermal design, uh, heat sink, thermoelectric, heat pipe, compact heat exchanger, solar cell. Uh, second edition, this is important. Um, don't confuse with the first edition. It's quite different, okay? You cannot use it. Page is different. The first edition was a 600 page. Second edition is a 900 page. <laughs> so you can, you know, you cannot use it, the old version, widely. There is an ISBN number, so, so that uh, uh, make sure you have a correct uh, textbook. Um, I think uh, you should have a textbook, uh, so many pages. Um, and uh, this is a very uh, fast uh, mode, uh, so you have to read, reading assignment, uh, homework, and we have a quiz, yeah, let me see, grading, uh, we have a homework, uh, sometimes computer assignment is 25, and the quiz, um, I will dis, uh, decide when, uh, depend on the uh, lecture, 25, maybe a couple of uh, quiz, and the midterm, 25, and the final schedule, April 26 and 25. So interesting uh, is uh, you have to uh, manage your um, score. Some students are not working during the semester and, and then working on final. This is not going to work. Okay, so you have to study hard from the beginning, every homework quiz, 
because it is a distribution. And uh, the difficulty, I am controlling the difficulty of uh, the content. Uh, so 90 over is A. So, so any, any time when you have a homework, quiz, you will see your score. Okay? Uh, so that you can manage your score in order to be a, a good score. Uh, any, anything? Yeah. Uh, everything is online. The quiz, meeting, final, online. I'm going to post in uh, Dropbox so you can open at the uh, on time. And then there is a time limit and you have to download it. Okay? Which means uh, you have to be familiar with how to download. Uh, this is uh, actually the homework and computer assignment and the midterm exam, etc. will be uploaded. Uh, uh, no, this is homework will be uploaded uh, uh, prior to beginning each class. I don't want to work on the homework during my lecture. So you have to finish uh, prior to the each lecture. Okay? Uh, no late homework. And uh, uh, the homework should be scanned, homework or midterm, whatever, exam, using, uh, I, I think, uh, a cam scanner, maybe good. Okay. Cam scanner. There is a software. Or you can uh, uh, look up the WMU help her and how to scan. Anyhow, the point is um, once you use a software, it will give uh, one final for any pages. So multiple page for homework and exam, just uh, one file, less than three megabyte. Um, some students uh, create uh, 10 megabyte. I have a problem to open it. So you have to use a, a proper software to scan your work and download. Okay, it, it's your responsibility. Uh, keep in mind uh, one PDF, okay, no multiple and clear. Sometimes uh, uh, it's hard to read, then you have trouble. So it should be clear and orientation. Don't let me orient, rotate your work. Okay, I have a number of students, so uh, you have to really work on that. Uh, and uh, these requirements may affect your grading. So uh, keep, uh, you have to really familiar with, if you're not, the, especially the first one, it takes about five minutes. So um, usually I give a, a five minutes uh, to download, but uh, no more than that, uh, you have to really submit on time, okay? Uh, any questions so far? <clears throat> no, sir. Okay. Now, uh, the topics uh, is chapter 5 and chapter 6 of the textbook. But huge pages, okay? It's about more than 300 pages. Uh, so many pages uh, we're going to discuss. Okay. Um,
So syllabus now. <clears throat> Uh, I don't think uh, uh, the computer program, maybe no, I, I don't think so. So, so mostly hand calculation, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna use uh, the electronic version actually of my book. Uh, this is chapter five. Um, <laughs> although I have some hard copy, um, the 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 Wiley publisher doesn't did not provide the electronic version, so I had to buy it. See, I, I purchased from Wiley electronic version. That is, um, they call a bookshelf. Uh, they use the bookshelf. Uh, it's, a, it's a very similar to the Amazon, uh, you know, software. <clears throat> but uh, this is nice. That's what we are looking at here. Uh, very flexible page. I can back and forth. I can return. So I'm going to use this, okay? Um, the first of all, I have to tell you, uh, many years ago, I was developing this course, thermal design and the thermal electric. Um, so that was my class note, okay? And then I wrote the book. So which means the book is my, my lecture note. So I have to use it, okay? I put some, uh, uh, description so more than uh, lecture note but anyhow I have to figures everything from my lecture note so you have to understand I have to use it I'm, I'm gonna use it okay the book uh, figures uh, everything and uh, uh, so you should read uh, some reading whether I assign or not you will see what will be next, and you have to read it, which means you have to have the book. I don't think you can pass without the textbook. I don't think so. So uh, prepare to have the book, either electronic or hard copy is fine. Unfortunately, this book is uh, quite expensive, <laughs> I, I learned, <laughs> um, but uh, it's worse, okay, we discuss high level of thermal electric. Uh, <clears throat> um, let me let me a little bit talk about the general uh, about the thermal electric. Uh, 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 these uh, we will study in detail, but uh, it's uh, almost the same as uh, electrons. Okay, 19th century, we we discovered and we learned all the uh, theories developed. Um, so, some electric and the electron. Okay. So, um, but the uh, electrons, you know, how important now computers, uh, you know, uh, everything, AI, everything, uh, you know, is, is electrons. So um, this one, we had some difficulties.
to material development, especially. So this course, we talk about the material. Although uh, pretty much we understand why we have a difficulty, okay? So it, it looks good, but we have difficulty. What, what's wrong? And uh, uh, the, in the future, we can overcome, I think, the difficulty. That's why uh, the future is bright. Once it, it is we overcome the material, it is going to be huge, okay? Um, but at this moment, uh, we have some uh, under uh, yeah, development right now. So, um, well, the electron moves and uh, uh, it is affect the thermal effect. And then uh, the thermal energy moves, it will affect electric, electronic. So there is a, some relationship, thermal energy and electron. But here, we only talk about electron. But thermal energy and electron it is a very interesting topic. And uh, right now, uh, most uh, 50, I think more than 50 top school, they have a research on, on the thermoelectric. Okay, thousands of uh, papers coming and the research group, you can find it anywhere, MIT, Stanford, you know, Caltech, uh, any, any school, Purdue, you know, there's a lot of uh, thermoelectric uh, uh, lectures and, uh, but how interesting, there's a lot of research group lecture, uh, but uh, no textbook. Interesting. Uh, there is a couple of books, but uh, it is not really textbook. Uh, it's not really uh, readable, especially mechanical engineering. That's a very interesting. Um, so I developed for mechanical, especially other than physics chemistry, electric, electric uh, engineering. So um, very specific textbook I developed, unique. There, there is no even similar book uh, exist, believe or not. Okay, so you should be proud of it. <laughs> um, I have a number of publication. I have, a, a, yeah, I was able to write the book. Uh, I, I wrote three books about this. <clears throat> so you can raise a question. You cannot have this lecture any school, no, no, even no textbook. Okay, all uh, PhD and very special uh, professors uh, uh, teaches and uh, research but uh, no, not, uh, it, it's very difficult to approach. So once you have uh, uh, my um, lecture, you can apply. If you are interested to any schools, they will love to look at it, okay? If you are interested, so you try to do that okay, for a PhD program uh, or a master program, whatever. Um, so, uh, through the course, I think you have to keep in mind what is the difficulties, okay, in thermoelectric material. What, why it's the same uh, discovery of electron, but why thermoelectric is way behind the electron? Electron is a TV, phone, iPhone, oh, you, you know that, all number of development. Th this is amazing, but why? This is way behind, okay? Uh, although it is good, 
Once we have good material, the thermal energy directly convert to electricity. You know how difficult the uh, you know conversion from thermal energy. You know that we have to have a combustion to create the heat and the boiler steaming and then steam run the turbine and turbine run the generator and generator create generate electricity not easy no not easy but uh, uh, depend on the material once we have a good material directory right now efficiency is about 10 thermal efficiency much less than 30 30 is about the gasoline engine so still behind but once we have a good material, we can reach 30, 40 efficiency. Then we don't need a combustion boiler turbine directly. There is a way. So future, I think, in space, Mars, Moon, or whatever, this is the energy conversion. I think so. Not the turbine so important okay not only electricity cooling the thermoelectric is irreversible wow i will talk about reversible what is a reversible no i'm sorry i said the reversible thermoelectric is a reversible which means no friction so it can go to electricity or electricity go to heating, reversible, so that easily we can pass current, we can have a cooling or heating. So refrigerator, we have a lot of problem, refrigerator. Freons, we have a, a the uh, all kind of ozone layer problem so uh, all kind of problem we have uh, with the frown right now so in the future we need something different is a thermal electric we don't need a frown directly electricity from cooling but still under uh, material problem, efficiency problem. Okay, that's why um, this area is uh, so important. In the future, I think uh, in in some day, very easily we can cooling, heating, no refrigerator, no freon, and uh, uh, the nuclear fusion directly convert electricity without the turbine okay so uh future is bright uh, <clears throat> so think about it uh, let me start with the chapter five you can read it uh but uh I think uh, uh, 1821, uh, the seabed discovered uh, once we have a uh, uh, temperature difference it create the voltage that's the 18 much earlier than electron i think electron is a uh, way later okay so 1821 uh, thomas sivet discovered some relationship temperature difference and the voltage 
create. Uh, and uh, here, uh, 1834, uh, you can read it. Uh, Peltier, Jean, French, discovered um, the current is uh, related the heat heat current so this voltage it create the current actually voltage obviously potential in current but uh, something is interesting, the current create the heat. The pi is not known, but uh, anyhow. So, um, and then 1854, 1854, uh, famous William Thompson. William Thompson, I think he was a professor, who was a, uh, Edinburgh, in Scotland, something like that. Yeah, he was a professor and discovered the relationship um, is, I think, uh, um, that, that's uh, actually a uh, voltage is related to temperature, so they equal C back coefficient. And then, wow, this is a beautiful actually Thomson relationship. So, so that the Q Peltier, it turned, look at that, pi, alpha, ti, beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh, so, and then uh, in order to do that, Thompson assumed the thermoelectric effect, okay, C vec, Peltier is reversible. That was uh, for 50 years in discussion. Is it correct? He was, uh, once he assumed the reversible, he come up with this and then this. But uh, uh, for 50 years discussion, is it correct? Reversible turns out the correct. So, so that we have uh, now uh, it works, something like that. So um, the Seebeck effect, Peltier effect, Thomson relation, all kind of things uh, is a, is a initial development. Okay, you can read it. You can read it. I like you some summary. Uh, I'd like to have some homework assignment of these. Okay, now, <clears throat> so knowing uh, the effect, what what happened? What happened? Okay, uh, students, um, you can raise question. Any question? You have a right to raise question. Uh, did I tell you this is uh, my last lecture? I'm retiring in May, so you will not see me anymore. I'm retiring, okay? Um, so please raise a question. Uh, okay, now, the question is, what's going on? Okay, equation is equation, and what's going on? Okay, and uh, I, I try to use this kind of 
figure. Suppose we have any material, any, any material. One side is cold, the other side is hot. Okay. Uh, we will study more about the electron in any material, but naturally, naturally, um, the electron uh, is something around the uh, nucleus. So nucleus is proton and the neutron. So same number of uh, electrons circling. So total could be, uh, you know, neutral. Okay, because same number of electron. Electron is minus same number of proton. Uh, you know, this is something orbiting same number. But uh, uh, there could be more, could it be more electron than two, two? It could be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an atomic number. It could go to 100. Okay? I think the plutonium is, is 200 something. <laughs> oh my. Um, we'll study. And uh, there, there are uh, quantum uh, will study numbers, okay, something. So if it is more than one or even one, it depends on the energy. It can go up and down, depend on the energy, okay. So so even it can go uh, less. This is binding with the nucleus. So if you go further, then less binding energy. At the final, is almost free. So if any uh, thermal energy or kick or electric uh, field, it can free. So very easily, electron become free in nature anywhere. So. I think uh, you, you may experience some electrostatic in winter. When you hold the handle of a car, there is a spark because you, you have some charge and uh, potential difference, there is a current flow spark. Or the lightning, you know, the crowd is moving and and then naturally once it is moving and and then electrons around and then potential and the flows through the rain so only a, a rain is required to flow to the earth okay that's a lightning so electron is everywhere but usually random, very random, so you don't feel it, too small. Electron is, is a particle, smallest particle, I think, uh, in nature. You cannot split the electron. It, it, it's the a, it, it's a smallest, you cannot split a particle. <clears throat> so everywhere, okay, now back to material and cold, and hot, some electron is there, yeah, always. But hot, I told you, more energy, whatever, thermal energy, thermal energy, or, or, or any energy, so more electron in hot. So once it's less, more, there's a potential, and there are two mechanisms in, one is diffusion, Naturally, more dense electron is going to flow to less dense. That, that, that's the nature. Another is there is a potential, okay, voltage, potential. And once it's a potential, the charge is forced. That is a Coulomb force, we call it between two potential. 
Coulomb force. So two mechanism anyway, it has to move toward the cold side. Once electron moves, what do you think? Anyone? Answer. What happened once electron moves? Please participate, student. Yes. Heat dissipated. No, I'm, asking, I'm asking once electron is moving, then what happened? That's that's current. Current, yes. Voltage. The voltage current create. Is that the once the electron moving from right to left, the current obviously from left to right. So voltage creating, that's the seabed effect. Okay, this is nature. Cold and hot, we have a voltage. Turn off the micron, please. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, so we have a, a voltage. Uh, good. Any any material. So that uh, uh, we able to create. Uh, actually, uh, I will talk about this later. Um, suppose. Uh, any any wire, wire A and B. Um, I told you, any material something C big effect, but if you use A and A same material, high and cold, these cancel, because uh, the voltage created the other way voltage is cancelled, so there is no effect. But once we have different a and B, a different material has a different C vac, obviously, and then the difference will create current voltage. That's the thermocouple. I think uh, you are familiar with the thermocouple. And uh, once it creates the uh, voltage, uh, usually millivolt, and then it, it's a very consistent with the temperature. So that once we measure the voltage, there is a relationship temperature. That's why we read the temperature with a thermocouple. Do we need a battery? No, no need a battery. Interesting. I was so curious. The thermocouple does not need battery because it self creates some millivolt because of thermoelectric effect. Just a, just the temperature difference, cold and hot, that's it. Usually cold is reference temperature they call, so that you can measure the one side of temperature. Okay, so it, it, it's very convenient. Uh, we can measure the voltage or the thermoelectric effect. Um, so usually what we do is uh, instead of A and B, we use N type and P type semiconductor. This is what usually N type P type. So that one is electron, the other is holes moving so that we can make a circuit nicely. And then we can have as many as couples. Then we create the thermoelectric. Uh, this is the we call module, it's available. About 30 bucks you can buy, 20 bucks is commercial thermoelectric module. And uh, if you apply hot and cold, it creates the voltage, power. Or if you pass current, you can create heat flow, very convenient. You don't need a refrigerator, you don't need a freon, you can have a cooling. Amazing. You can have cooling, the other side is heating, one side is cooling. Just the electricity, I told you. Electricity, thermoelectric is reversible. 
So either side, generate or cooling, you know. <clears throat> so I'm telling you, I'm going to make an assignment, a summary. So you have to summarize all kinds of these today lecture. I think a CBEG is, a, you can say that voltage is created the temperature difference. And uh, I would say a CBEG coefficient alpha AB, because AB must be different or N type P type. It cannot be the same. Okay, so one is a negative, the other is a positive. Uh, we'll discuss. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I'm gonna uh, uh, discuss um, a little bit about that before we move on. <clears throat> oh, can I? Uh, Okay, there is a, a nucleus, whatever, helium, two, am I right? Three, yeah, two. Two neutrons, and uh, one, two, probably. Uh, but there, I told you that there, there is a, uh, potential quantum number. Quantum number one can be quantum number two, quantum number three, it depends on, it, it can back and forth. This electron can be here, can be here, but only two, okay? Um, so, if this electron become free, then these atoms become charged, yes or no? Do you understand? Say yes. Yep. Yeah, because sure. positive and one, if if there is a two, two, then neutral, but the, it's a charged. Ion, we call ionized. So these ionized atoms and then free electron so that uh, interesting is a free electron and then it, it can be a uh, uh, combat and then neutral and then moving something <laughs> very interesting so what happened is uh, the electron become free this is n type semiconductor. If this is a charged, positive, yes or no, positive charge, we call hole. So electron and the holes is almost the same energy and the moving around. Okay, there are so many solid, so many atoms, so not only electron is moving, but also hole is moving, but N type is electron is moving, P type, it's hole is moving, but different direction of current. That's why we use, we use this, okay? N type electron, P is a hole is moving. Okay, we will study more of this, but uh, uh, anyhow, we can control. Um, so, <clears throat> um, uh, so voltage is uh, alpha and the delta T. What is alpha? Did, what did I say? Anyone answer? Come on. Yeah, was it the was it the uh, 
the coefficient that uh, relates the two. No name over it. Metals, the two. Name over it. Feedback coefficient. Yes. yes. Don't don't try to explain. Okay. Uh, alpha is a feedback coefficient. A B could be anti P type together. Um, look at that. A and B minus one is a minus. So A B. Um, one of the interesting. Th this is hard to understand. What is this? This is hard to understand. Yeah, this is hard to understand. Uh, uh, um, we know there is a Peltier cooling. Yes? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, we discussed Q uh, Peltier is ARPA T I. So, once I have a current, any material will have a, a seabed coefficient. Temperature is a temperature, so that there is a Peltier. That's why TH, TL, there is a Peltier. Cooling or heating. Cooling or heating. Uh, we know that. Do you understand this? I think, uh, say yes, no. This is uh, one of the most important. Do you understand this equation? Yes. Yeah, nothing. You know, just uh, uh, phenomena. Phenomena. Once I have current, any material, there, there might be cooling or heating. Okay, alpha T I. And, but the, the, the complex is um once I have a temperature gradient TL and the current, oh my goodness, there is a, some heat is absorbed depend on the direction and heat dissipation is more than Peltier. Small, this is a small part. We call Thomson effect. Okay, it's a small. But uh, it's there. So that's the great difficulty in the experiment. If you try to measure the voltage or heat, it's inaccurate because the wire temperature difference, the wire absorb heat, dissipate the heat. Small, but the accuracy. So no way you can measure alpha. That's a 50 years, for 50 years discussion. You try to measure the alpha C back, no way, because of something happened, Thompson, heat. Do you understand? If you understand, say yes. Otherwise, I, I'm gonna repeat it. Yes, sir. Say yes. Yes, sir. Say yes. No one? Yes. One more. Yes, sir. Sir. Okay. Yeah. I think <laughs> I said you accept it. That's it. Actually, it's a phenomena. So there are two kinds of heat. One is a Peltier. The other is a Thompson. My goodness. So complicated, okay, small, but, um, but anyhow, um, is it the small, but we don't know how small, <laughs> you know, it could be uh, significant, yeah. but anyhow, current, the same, C back. So what is, uh, if we have current, we have a pelt here, uh, well, even without the current, we have just the heat, TL, then current flows. I told you, the source could be heat, could be current. I don't know which one could be, is a reversible. There is no current in the beginning. Once you apply the heat, 
temperature difference, there will be current. Then there will be Thomson always, because I told you temperature difference and current. Again, temperature is the same, uniform, but if you pass current, then heat flow. Once it's the heat flow, there is a Thomson again. Say yes if you understand that. Don't say yes if you don't understand, because I'm going to repeat it. Yes, sir. No, no. Yes or no? Yes. One more. Yes. OK. That, that's the key phenomena of thermoelectric. You, you've got to understand that, especially this. So it, uh, it is a two source, heat could be source, current could be source. No matter what, it will create the Thomson, it will create the Peltier. Okay, let's move on. Um, uh, you understand that the Peltier is pi, is, is a Thomson, they figure out. It is huge work, Thomson, I don't want to do right now, but next, this is require a lot of work in order to. Um, so uh, they say Thomson heat, Thomson, there is a coefficient. Look at that current, temperature difference, there is a Thomson heat. So it could be here, it could be here. Depend on the current, it could be absorbed, it could be dissipated. But the amount is Thomson effect. Okay, so there are two Thomson. One is a pi figure out. Thomson relation is, a, yeah, pi they figure out. And the other is, yeah. The other is this, yeah, this one, <clears throat> yeah, tau. Tau is a, is a relate to the C back, the, the gradient respect to temperature. If the C back is changing with the temperature, there is Thomson coefficient. If you assume C back is a constant, already you neglect the Thomson heat. This is so important. I repeat, Thomson heat, tau, is temperature times C back D, the gradient respect to temperature. So usually yes because the CVEC is depend on temperature, but small, small, but uh, yes. But if you assume constant CVEC, then already there is no Thomson heat. You neglect already, okay? So uh, once you do analyze, it turns out that there is a figure of merit, Z. So alpha square over rho Z. A rho is a electric resistivity, electrical, or electrical conductivity inverse. So uh, two, okay, this or this, resistivity or electrical conductivity. So this is uh, unit is inverse of temperature is indicate the performance. The higher, the better. So the material guys, chemistry, physics, electrical, they are looking for higher G value. If you multiply G times any temperature, this is dimension is. Dimensionless. So sometimes a GT, some average. 
So this is important uh, figure of merit to represent uh, material. And uh, uh, <clears throat> I just uh, uh, plot uh, some material developed a GT value versus temperature uh, 3 Kelvin. So it's about room temperature and then higher temperature. Scudarudite, uh, I think that's the name, Scudarudite. Uh, this one and bismuth telluride at the room temperature bismuth telluride turned out the champion highest GT value so most of commercial module made of bismuth telluride I'm guaranteed by now but the higher temperature something else okay lead telluride Scudarudite. Scudarudite was discovered in Norway. Anyhow, high, but the room temperature is low. That's the difficulty right now. Okay, so I, I gave some example of, uh, did I mention GT? Yeah, GT value. Uh, look at that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a question. Yes. Um, I'm having uh, a little bit of a difficult time with the, the gradient of your the Seebeck coefficient uh, with, with respect to temperature. Uh, could you maybe like elaborate on what that is practically like between I don't know, different materials, like whether it be like ceramics or metals or what, what does that look like? What is the. I don't know if that does that make sense? No, I'm no, to... it doesn't make sense. Would you repeat your question? So. I guess maybe could you provide an example of maybe a material that would have a higher gradient um, with respect to like a different material, gradient, like and what, gradient, and what makes that? I talked about gradient. Yes, the gradient of the Seebeck coefficient. Yeah, that's respect. what I'm telling you. This is example of, um, of uh, GT versus temperature. And uh, uh, scudarudite, uh, there is a, some gradient along the temperature. That's why we have a CVEC. No, 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 no. What is um, um, the uh, Thomson heat is tau and uh, uh, yeah, so current and uh, so tau is temperature and the D uh, alpha DT. So um, this tau is a Thomson coefficient is depend on the gradient with the, yeah, depend on the gradient. So always there is a, a some Thomson effect, depend on the material, e even the, uh, the bismuth telluride. Would that be, make sense? Yeah, I guess, I guess I'm just trying to think practically like, so like what, what materials, for example, would have a higher gradient that, that's why he here some some example something like that. Okay, we'll study more about that. Okay. 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 Thank you. Um, I like to uh, have a break right now, about ten minutes, uh, and then I will come back. Okay. See you. Bye.
I'm back. Uh, um, you know, uh, I'm old. I I need a break. Okay, <laughs> I I cannot continue. So please understand. Uh -huh. Okay, now next topic is um. Yeah, thermal electric generator. <clears throat> uh, so um, I think uh, I have to tell you when I wrote this book, I felt something is we need. Um, when I attend the conference, yeah, some other day conference, uh, I will tell you about 70% of the attendants are physics, chemistry, material, okay? And uh, about 30% is uh, electricity, and uh, mechanical. So mechanical is about 10%. So most majority are science. Papers, they talk about physics. And the symbols are different, talking about differently. The physics people are different than the engineering. So it's hard for me to understand what they are talking about. It's something look like simple, but they are saying very differently. So they never explain like me. I, I told you, I explained to you all, all the fundamental, but they never go through that, okay? They all talk about the different things. And uh, definitely, I thought this is important part of engineering. I told you, generator and the cooling, heating, cooling, eventually. But the majority of people talk about the physics, not the engineering. And there's no textbook, no book, there's a handout, a couple of all physics. That's the reason why I felt I need to write textbook for engineering. Okay? So, but also obviously involves physics. Yes, basic physics. That's why. So my book, for you can read it. You can understand. Definitely. Okay, uh, in sense of engineering. Okay, so you have to understand the. Uh, <clears throat> now is a generator. Um, we talk about electron. So electron is weird, but is moving. So that uh, it uh, we can say continuity. So so once is a is a follows continuity, the vector electron J, J is um, electron density per unit area, J, elect, uh, current density they call current density, is something like electron is continue once is a continuity in mathematically gradient so conservation must be zero okay so uh and then 
the electric field is on the law okay so current and uh, resistivity this is on the law we know that this is voltage this is r uh, you know you are familiar with the voltage is ir on the law okay if you multiply the area so we know that and uh, this is on the law but the voltage is temperature gradient according to c value small but so this voltage is related to temperature now okay this, this is perfect this is on the law is neglecting a c -band. so so we use this the voltage potential is current and the temperature the another question is heat flux is cooling uh, Peltier and uh, uh, it turns out thermal conduct conduction thermal conduction uh, in terms of uh, uh, vector so this is is not easy to come up with it uh, we're gonna look at it look into this equation later a uh, lot of discussion and uh, terms relations and uh, all kind of uh, uh, study but anyhow uh, at this moment uh, uh, we come up with this also uh, some electric is reversible um, the reversible some electric is reversible in real world mostly irreversible you know that mostly irreversible we cannot reverse because of some friction involved particle moving there is a frictions um, there's a collisions even current is collisions so so that we have joule heating okay so irreversible conduction is irreversible all kind of irreversibility but how come thermoelectric is reversible okay so we will just uh, leave that discussion later anyhow we two equations about the voltage potential electric field and the heat flow uh, they call a uh, heat flux or a heat density <clears throat> so we somewhat we understand we already prepared here cooling and the thermal conduction as long as the temperature difference there is a conduction we know that heat transfer so the heat flux okay so um, we understand this and the uh, diffusion in heat transfer um, we discuss the heat diffusion in chapter two chapter three <laughs> so this is the heat diffusion with the heat generation and uh, uh, we want to discuss steady state so no change with the uh, time so this storage is zero the only conduction and heat generation 
So uh, if we assume steady state, and the heat generation is nothing more um, the joule heating, so uh, voltage and current power generation, voltage, once the voltage and voltage and current, uh, uh, so we just multiply and come up with uh, this. This is heat diffusion and electricity. Okay, so this is is governing equation in the material. So according to Thomson, says the Thomson coefficient is temperature d alpha dt. So this term, the third term, will be associated with Thomson heat. So if we assume the C vac coefficient is constant no change with the temperature, this is gone. Okay, that we call ideal equation, otherwise it's so complicated. So we neglect the Thomson effect and then ideal equation, that's what we are talking about. And then later, we talk about the Thomson effect later. So at this moment, we focus on ideal equation. So ideal equation, uh, we assume, uh, we neglect the uh, temperature dependency, and uh, actually there is some contact uh, resistance, electrical, thermal, spawn, but contact. And uh, this is complicated, so we assume negligible contact resistance between the conductor and the material. And also, there may be some heat convection toward the ambient. Yes, small, but it's complicated. Again, we assume negligible. So three things, C back coefficient is temperature independent, not temperature dependent, so that we can neglect the Thomson effect. Contact resistance is negligible, and the convection, radiation, heat loss, is negligible. Radiation, convection, negligible. Three things, then it become ideal. Okay? So we talk about ideal, first of all. Okay? This one, just one couple, and then just a multiply n is the n number of couple. So conductor, hot, cold, and uh, n type semiconductor, P-type semiconductor, and the hot, TH, and cold source, hot and cold. And then I told you hot and cold, the electron moving upward or downward? <clears throat> Answer. Answer, hot and cold, we discussed. So electron is going to move downward or upward? It'll move, it'll move away from, it'll move towards the cold. So downward or upward, the answer? Looks like down. Down, yes, because it's more electron and then down because uh, do you know why? There are two mechanisms. One is a diffusion, the other is Coulomb forces. Okay, now, holes, hot and cold, the same. Hot is more, more holes, but uh, downward or upward? 
I guess it'd be if electrons are moving downward, then no, you'd have electron is downward, holes. but hole. Then you'd have holes upward. Somebody else. You think about diffusion and the Coulomb forces. Answer somebody else. Downwards. Why? Yes, you're right, but why? Thermal diffusion? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, actually, hot create more holes, yes or no? Say yes. Yes. Then diffusion taking place. Dense to less dense, downward. Again, the voltage difference, then positive holes moving which way? Downward, Coulomb forces. So, electron moving downward, current moving downward or upward? Current. Yeah, it has to be the direction of electron flow. No, 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 no. Down or up? Current. Down. Somebody else. Upwards. Why? Why upward current? Oh, is it conventional to look at the flow of positive charge? So it'd be up? No, no, somebody else. Can you more simple explanation? Why upward? The voltage. Somebody else. Why, why current is upward? Due to the flow of current. Yes. The current is downward. Must be current upward. Simple. Okay, now. Hole is downward. What would be direction of current? Upward or downward? I guess downward, sir. Because the same direction of a positive, so downward, yes. Okay. That's why the current goes upward and downward make a circuit. Good, good. That's, that's what happened. And once it is current, what kind of uh, mechanism do you expect? Now you can say something. Once it is current, what kind of mechanism do you expect? One by one. There are more than one. Somebody explain. I think you should know that. You said yes, yes, yes. Then you're able to explain. There is a current flow. Then what kind of uh, heat flow is associated? Mechanism. Conduction. What is the name of it? Conduction. Say again. Uh, Just the one word. Peltier. Peltier, yes, thank you so much. First of all, Peltier. Uh, do I have to write? Peltier. Peltier is always alpha I T. So current temperature, there is a Peltier. Peltier, some, some flow over heat any other than the peltier anyone hot and cold any any other phenomenon thompson. you know huh thompson yeah yes yes anything else yes but the uh, here we assume ideal so is there, Thompson, if it is ideal equation? Is there any Thompson effect? 
Yes, but uh, in ideal equation. Is there a Thompson effect? No. No. No, no. Something else. Okay, give me something else. What C is the feedback? Say again? Feedback effect. He, he, no, no, somebody else. You have to use terminology, good terminology. So, like reverse phenomenon of feedback effect? No, 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 no. Somebody else. High and low material, then what is the mechanism phenomena happen other than Peltier? Peltier, we said. Jewel heating? Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay, thank you. But other than that, yes. Second is Jewel heating. Other than that, that's your problem. Okay, you you are mechanical engineer, high and low. You you will not figure out the the phenomena. Conduction. Conduction. Yes. Yes. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Thank you so much. You are mechanical engineer. High and low material, there must be conduction, thermal conduction. So first the Peltier, second is conduction, third is joule heating because uh, current, then there is a joule heating, the joule. Always current, I think what is the joule heating? Yeah, the joule heating, always a the collision of current, collision of electron, joule heating, joule heating. You should know that. So three mechanism, thermal conduction and the joule heating and the Peltier. Wow. So total now, not only a Peltier, Total is first of all Peltier turned out and uh, Joule. But interesting, Joule is nothing to do with the direction. Half goes up, half goes down. So if this is uh, directional, only half goes something. In fact, interesting. And third is. Uh, conduction <clears throat> conduction so three things if we say k is a k uh, the length, 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 yeah, length. Then you can use K. This is K uh, dt, you can say. <clears throat> so um, it turns out. Um, yeah, some mathematics, but uh, it turns out, where is that? Yeah. Yes, this one, QH. And alpha THI minus, it depends on the direction, and the K, K is, uh, look at that. Uh, capital K, okay, and, and temperature difference. So A must be two, AP and AN. If you understand, the say yes. This is so important. Alpha now AV, in one is a minus and the other is a positive. You understand this? Because of couple, one couple, 
Say yes. Let's, let's do the, yes. the difference say in materials, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's why. That's why it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One more student say yes. 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 Okay. You got to understand. This is one couple, but uh, usually module has an N couple. That's why we have an N. But we have to understand A. What is R? What is K? Is I told you KALP2. P type, N type. So these two together couple, it become K. R is again, R is a resistivity and electrical resistance. I think uh, you, your physics, physics, uh, resistivity, length, A. So P type, N type, something you have to understand. So this 520 equation is what we call, you answer. What's the name of this? Come on, what did I say? Come on. So resistivity? No, all together, all together. This is all heat, QH. Heat absorbed? Somebody else. Heat transfer. No, somebody else. There is a name. I named it, actually. <laughs> because I have to name it. Come on. You cannot find this name in any other book. I named it. Thermal resistivity? No. All together. No one remember. <laughs> heat flux? No, heat flux is only one term. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, but uh, no. That's not the name I named it. Do I have to go back? Heat conduction. No, 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 no. What's the title? Cha, now, can you find it? Thermoelectric. No, find it. Ideal equation. Ideal equation, yes, yes. That's what I said. Because I'm going to use it, you have to understand. You and I, we communicate, not others. Others don't know what is ideal. Ideal guess, no. Ideal guess, no. Ideal equation. Is there any assumptions in ideal equation? Yes or no? Yes. So tell me, what are the ideal equation assumptions? The gradient of the Seebeck coefficient with respect to temperature is zero one word i know but just a, a simple word thompson coefficient neglect zero. What? Ne yeah neglect what neglect thompson not the thompson what the thompson? Thermal, thermal resistance yeah thompson effect neglect thompson effect okay the other contact resistance is negligible okay and the other the CBA coefficient is independent of temperature? No, no, no. Sir. Thompson coefficient is a zero. No, 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 no. Zero? Somebody else. Convection radiation. Convection radiation, what? You have to complete your word. Negligible. Negligible, yes. Convection radiation, negligible. Heat loss is negligible. Three things. Okay. So this is quite simple. We have some effect, not not the uh, hundred percent real, but okay. We call it ideal equation. C and and H. There are two. 
What is the CH? This is H, absorb, heat, dissipate is C. So heat absorb and C, uh, let me see. <clears throat> Can you apply a, a, a heat engine? So, heat engine. Can, can, can you say heat engine, yes or no? Yes. Do you understand? I, I say heat engine. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Like, that makes sense. Okay, what is a network, do you think? There is a resistance and current. The network is like resistance, I guess. What is the power generated here? Power. Voltage and resistance. Some, if you apply some resistance, it would be equivalent to your current. No, no, power, power. Power would be high, sir. Can you figure out the power? Current and voltage. Yes, yes. Current and voltage. So, what is the voltage here is I, R, L. R, L here, here just applied load resistance. Well, actually, there is a resistance. The joule heating is, I call, not the load, is an element resistance. Different joule heating, okay? So, so this is a... <clears throat> power. Um, do you think uh, the the power is? Can you figure out what 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 is it in terms of first law? QH minus QL. Yes, that's what we discussed. Do we have an equation for QH and QL? Do we have equation? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, ideal equation. Do we have an equation for net? Yes or no? Yes. So that's it. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> So look at that. The power is I R L times N because the N number of uh, couples. So you don't forget the N for the module and uh, um, the power and um, I, I use the QHQL and then I come up with um, actually turns out that there is a current, interesting. If you look at the equation and uh, e equate the uh, uh, power output and uh, the net, uh, and then you come up with the current. Current is RL plus R. R is uh, internal resistance, internal. So the voltage, and I have expression. What would be... Uh, um, 
efficiency, thermal efficiency of a generator, general. Power generator. What, what would we input? The, um, the, the Q sub H. Yes. The heat. What input. is the output? Work. Yes. Work. Well, then you can calculate efficiency. So that's what I did. Actually, uh, you can you can plug in and and come up with and and then uh, <clears throat> um, the general characteristic was very difficult. Most of the book they talk about a specific module, not the general. So specific module depend on the specific dimension, specific input. So I wanted to generate normalized <clears throat> general. So I was looking at the maximum. What would be maximum current, <clears throat> do you think? Again, back to... <clears throat> What would be a, a maximum current in this EMF generator? Maximum current. Voltage by resistance? No. Usually, what, what would be maximum current that happen in, in, in the uh, circuit? I mean, the, your supply voltage over your load resistance, that's like, right? I know, but uh, use a very uh, understandable terminology. Voltage over resistance? No, 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 no. If you say that, nobody understand. Anyone else? When we have a maximum current, At maximum voltage, hmm? when there is mo uh, most flow of electrons. No, somebody else. Just use a simple circuit. <clears throat> when your resistance is minimized. Okay. More another word, more understandable word, how to minimize. Use a very common word. Everybody understand. Your wife or your girlfriend understand. When the system is shorted. Yes. Thank you. So short circuit. Then everybody understand. Minimize. Then your girlfriend says, "What is minimize?" And no one understand. Short circuit. Such a circuit. So short. Then current is maximum. That's what I did. What would be a maximum voltage possible <clears throat> again? What would be possible maximum with a given temperature? Come on. <clears throat> No one answer? At maximum current? 
so you say to your girlfriend maximum current your girlfriend says no i don't understand so make some understandable word open circuit open circuit yes yes amanda right yeah <laughs> And everybody understand social good, open circuit, that is maximum. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm a little bit exciting. <laughs> Thank you. So, you know, um, actually, I did it. I was looking for really normalized maximum. So I found if you open it, sort, and then I found it, and then I found the maximum power. Once I have a maximum power, I was able to calculate the maximum efficiency, maximum power efficiency, and normalized actual over maximum power, actual current over maximum, actual voltage over maximum, efficiency, actual over maximum. I plotted. This is the, my work. I am the only normalized in the world do you believe or not say don't believe say don't believe thousands of papers every year normalized the characteristic nobody suggested that's what happened physics chemistry people I'm sorry, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, as far as I study, so this is a general, general, because uh, uh, everything is look at that, the power normalized, efficiency normalized, voltage, even R over L, the ratio of uh, resistance load over internal current over current every the the module company they provide actual they don't provide normalized but they provide actual it look like like that turns out i will show you i think i can show you one of commercial product <clears throat> Is there any uh, commercial product? <clears throat> I'm looking for a real commercial product. Yes. What is mine? Ah. Are you familiar with this? Yes or no? Say yes. We, we I showed the normalized. Say yes. This one. Yeah, let's well, see a similar, similar curve. Yeah, yeah. Similar. Look at that. Look at that. They use the real one. There's a real, not the normalized voltage, output. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So this is ideal. This is real. This is real. Uh, <clears throat> this is real. Um, <clears throat> so it's 
it's a very interesting, <clears throat> even ideal, how close, um, you know, it is. And, uh, and then uh, this is another way. This is current, uh, or uh, I can use uh, resistance ratio and uh, whatever. Um, this is a GT. Okay, now I have to show you GT. Look at that. Efficiency ratio. Yeah, this is efficiency ratio. Is a function of uh, how many variable, dimensionless variable, anyone, one by one. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. Variable, dimensionless variable, you tell me, one by one. Functions. Or you don't understand my question? I don't understand your question. You understand? I don't. Well, then somebody understand, they give me one of them. Some expression, variable, there are many variable. Just tell me one of a variable, dimensionless variable. ZD. Say again. ZD. GV. What? What are you talking about? Pronounce again. ZD. What is the DV? What are you talking about? Somebody else. I don't understand. Find it from here. Variable. The one is a variable or a constant? One. Tell me. It's a constant. It constant or variable? It's a constant. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the variable. R, o, R L over R is a variable or a constant? I don't know which one is R. So is this a variable or a constant? Well, one, one's a constant. Are you saying that R, your load resistance RL or R? R? R, L over R, dimensionless. Constant. So How do you know R, L? Why do you say constant? I don't know R, L. Even R, I don't know. It can R be changed. Is a constant, but not a R, L, I guess. Don't say oh. that. Somebody else. Is that a constant or a variable? Is the term the load resistance over R is a variable? So variable or constant? Choose one. I just said variable. Variable because we don't know R. It can be anything. One, two, three, four, five. It's a variable. That's why R L over R is a variable. You found the one. You found the one. <clears throat> Efficiency, efficiency maximum is function of first variable is RL of R. Why second variable? Anyone? I don't know. This is general, general. So could be anything. Come on. Find some. TZ by DH? Yes. TC over TH. We don't know TC, TH. It can be anything, variable. I can put any number. Is there any other variable in this equation? DT. Yes, yes. That's all. One, two, three variable. I can change and plot it three variable, just what I did. That's what I did here. Um, I fix one. Oh, wait a minute. 
I think there should be one more. I'm sorry. Uh, why? Hmm. Um. Nothing to do with the current. That's weird. <clears throat> I'm confusing. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. The current is depend on the R. Do you see that? So the current is a function of RL. So that's why I didn't put the current. RL over R, take care of that. Okay, sorry about that. So current is a function of RL over R. That's why um, that's why we have we can plot um, current um, and uh, uh, temperature. Where is the temperature? My uh, temperature I used the point seven, and GT I used the uh, uh, one. Otherwise, the others, I don't need the GT value. Look at that. Voltage, just the R. Current is the R. Um, only function of R. So only uh, efficiency, I need the GT. Others are just, uh, uh, I, I would able to fly. Thank you. So uh, anyhow, so uh, this one actually, um, Yeah, I can now, in terms of GT, um, the most of uh, technology right now is less than one GT value. So if it is a temperature is about 0.3, temperature ratio is about 0.3 in GT1, what is the maximum efficiency to, can you figure out? Answer, if, if uh, GT G ratio, temperature ratio is 0.3 and the technology is GT is one, what would be maximum efficiency? Five, 0.5? No, somebody else. 0.3. Temperature ratio is 0.3. GT is 1. Then figure out what would be maximum efficiency possible. 0.3? No. Maybe about 0.18. Yes. Ballpark. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 1 and 0 0.3, 0 0.18 something. What, what, what are you looking at? What are you looking at this one? Okay. Ballpark. Anyhow. 0.17, yeah. 0.18. Yeah. Uh, the accuracy is you can look at it. But uh, so that's the maximum ideal. If it is real, it can be more than that or less than that. The real ideal is a 0.18. Then real could be what? Just less or more? Real. Less. Why? Because it's the ideal efficiency, the maximum. Yes, thank you very much. We neglect heat loss, we neglect contact, we neglect Thomson effect. So the real should be less than that. I don't know how much, but but this is maximum. Right now, technology is 0.18. 
I don't know, depend on the temperature, 0.3. How to calculate the temperature? Um, can I, um, about the combustion, uh, 2000 K. Um, this is about uh, 300 K. What would be, uh, can you calculate? If, if it is 1000, then 0.3, yes? Yes. Yep. Yep. So 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 you can estimate the point three if it is one thousand. Something like that. You have to use Kelvin. So technology, if it is a three, wait a minute. If it is a three someday in ten years later. The uh, Stanford University developed GT is three smart smart uh, students. Then what would be efficiency with the point three temperature ratio? Can you look at? Zero point three. What is a zero point three in efficiency? Two. 30%? No. You think about, you tell me you, to your girlfriend, if you said efficiency 0.3, nobody understand. Makes sense. What is the efficiency of a GT3 with the 0.3 temperature ratio? What is that? Efficiency? To your wife? 100%. Maximum? No, read it, read it. The three, GT is three. And the point three, read. What would be efficiency? Maximum. I know, but the value of efficiency, understandable. 100%. No, no, 100%. Read, read the value of maximum efficiency. 0 0.3 or 30%. You have uh, economic uh, major students. If you talk about efficiency, 0 0.3 efficiency, he doesn't understand. What can you say? Fraction 0.3 is what is a percentage? Oh my God. I've already stated it's 30%. 30%. Then your economic students, ah, I understand 30%. Nobody understands 0.3 fractions efficiency. I'm talking about the, some common sense. The students. So what is 30% is about uh, anyone comparison with the gasoline engine? It's pretty good. Pretty, no, not not pretty good. Something say more than that. It's better than a right, typical combustion engine efficiency. Not, not the better than yeah. what is the combustion engine about the efficiency comparable you can say that. They're for 30%. Yeah, about 30%. Comparable. Okay, you cannot say more than or comparable. About 30%. So if you are 10 years later, GT value 3, even better than that. I, I just use 1,000. Do you think uh, you can apply the thermoelectric uh, and then do you need a gasoline engine? Yes or no? Do you need a gasoline engine? Piston, bing, 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 bing. Do you need a gasoline engine? Say something. Say something. You gotta have some sort of backup, don't you? So yes. 
You want to keep it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Say, uh, in ten years we have developed the material GT three, then do we need a steel gasoline engine? That's what I'm talking about. No. No. No need gasoline. What? What can you do? Just put the thermal electric combustion and thermal electric. Small. Some electric, and, and then you have a power 30%. Can you believe? It's possible. I think three is possible, very possible in 10 years using a nanotechnology. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit, students have a difficulty to understand what's going on. That's what I really try to uh, explain and uh, let me see <clears throat> some homework um, detail you can look over the example problem What time is it? Oh, time is. Um, I think a little bit more, sorry. The effective material property is I developed. So what I did was using the ideal equation and in terms of uh, maximum values, listen carefully, this is ideal because I, I, I am ideal equation. And then when I look at the real, do you think uh, you can find the maximum power? Yes or no? If, if this is power, if this is power, do you think you can find the maximum? Say yes. Or, or you can find the maximum power. Maximum power. Do you think you can find maximum power? Yes. Yes. Do you think you can find the maximum current? Here is current. Yes or yes. no? Do you think you can find the maximum voltage? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So what I did, listen carefully. This is ideal, but I use the maximum values of real plug-in I got uh, some property. Where, oh my God, where is it? Oh my. <laughs> this is. <laughs> where, <laughs> where is my effective? It's gone. Ah, no time. Jesus. <clears throat> ah, too much. What happened? Yeah, okay, this one, this one. So if I plug in the maximum value from real, I, I can get the, some property because the property, I, I, I have no idea because uh, uh, they don't provide. I, I called many times manufacturer and what is a property, uh, thermoelectric property, CVEC, resistance, they say no, they don't, they don't want to tell us because there's something weird. 
and the national instrument, all kind of, uh, uh, you know, is the different story. Then I don't know the contact resistance. I don't know the, the you know, Thompson uh, coefficient. Uh, I don't know heat loss even. No way. So it is impossible to obtain the real property. But if I use this equation, I can get the effective material property. Yes or no? Say yes, if you understand. Please say yes. No one. No one understand what I'm talking about. The CBEC, I can calculate the CBEC from maximum values, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I can calculate the resistivity, yes or no? Look at that, just values. Yes. I can calculate the Z value, figure on Mary, from yes. maximum value, yes, yes, yes. So I can calculate the Z. And then I compare, amazing. This is amazing. This is one of them. The solid line is, is ideal, ideal, okay? And uh, the marks are, are real, real, real. It is good or no good comparison? Look at that. Good or no good? Just tell me, good or no good comparison with the ideal and the real, the measurement values. Just tell me, good or no good? It's good. Good. Yes. So, what happened? The real and ideal is in agreement with effective material property. Okay, so uh, I think the time ran out. That that is a, a example problem. There must be some example problem. Yes or no? There is no forget it. Uh, I, I cannot find it. Um, the homework next week summary uh, section I think uh, by Uh, no matter what, uh, um, CBEC effect or coefficient at Peltier and uh, Thompson. You can use a coefficient and ideal equation. and uh, uh, effective material property uh, rho alpha k and uh, uh, figure of merit talk about and uh, and uh, normalize 
um, characteristic of uh, thermal electric generator just talk about. So these are the, you have to summarize, maybe using some equation and concept is due next hour. Any question? What's the one that's effective? What's after that? Say again? What's the one after ideal equations? I think you have to look at the textbook, okay? Ideal equation. No, what's, about. what's the one you want after ideal equations? What does that say? It's a three assumption <laughs> and the equation. I think you can find it. Okay? Yes or no? We talk about it. I did. No, what, what does it say after that, below that, Professor? After, ah, ah. Effective material property. Effective Thank material you. property. Thank you. Yeah. Any question? No. Okay. Thank you. See you next hour. Bye bye. Sorry to take too long. Uh, Thank you. Yep. Thank you.